Hello, my name is Hudson Waddles. I am a sophomore at Eau Claire University in Wisconsin, and in this semester I am studying abroad at Kansai Gaidai in Japan. This is my daily, not so daily, more like bi daily record of everything that I've done, everything I will do, and maybe inspire someone else to go study abroad because it's a, a lot of fun. Uh, hi, again, I think I'm definitely going to be sticking to bi daily schedules because. I can't seem to get a neck for daily. I don't know why, aside from the fact that I just can't. <laughs> um, so by daily things seem to make more sense. Besides, I can also condense longer, I can condense condense things rather than extend things. And it makes more sense. It makes more sense to span out two days in a single episode instead of you know, drag out a whole day that they, I did basically nothing for uh, in one day, in one episode. So, Speaking of which, Friday, this week Friday, two days ago, because technically it's Sunday, but we're not going to talk about it. Two days ago, Friday, <clears throat> I had my full of burps, excuse me. I had my Japanese one class. I had my first test. I had a quiz Monday, but then I had my first official test uh, on Friday. It didn't happen until the end, and, and everything beforehand always came up um, as the rest of the class period uh, beginning. The beginning portion of the class period, I'm all over the place. The beginning portion of the class period was all dedicated towards uh, more sentence structure and kind of getting the hang of introducing ourselves properly and fully. So we had moments where we would go throughout the class and we would actually recite um, <clears throat> the whole thing and just like putting it into words, putting it into a full sentence and a full conversation. So we had conversation partners, we were introducing ourselves properly and just uh, introducing ourselves to our instructor as well, just to get the whole feel for um, properly like pushing out, not pushing out, but um, generating the whole sentence in a way that didn't feel choppy and actually felt natural to converse with, which was a lot of fun. Uh, the last bit was the test. That section really, really kicked me. I could not remember for the life of me four characters. I got most of them down. I probably messed up on a lot of them, but I couldn't remember she for the life of me. And even though it's like a little hook, I couldn't remember the simplest of characters. I missed four. There were three sections, about 15 questions total, but only worth 10 points. So I'm really, really hoping that those four characters aren't going to blow my grade a whole lot. But I know for a fact that I messed up on a couple of them. Specifically the ones that I missed. I couldn't remember. Uh, N-E, ne, ne. I couldn't remember te, which I, I actually filled in at like the last second. I filled in, I couldn't fill in she. Or me. I'm like, am I? I don't like the letter M, N, or R. Because I also forgot re. 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 So it's like an R, E sound. And I couldn't remember that one either. But it's, the thing is, it's like a little squiggle that has like a tail end of it and a, a line that passes through it for like six symbols. So it all kind of gives and take. It's all it's a give and take of which I remember, which is unfortunate, but I'll get the hang of it. Not as soon as I'd like, because we're starting katakana soon, which is scary. I'm not used to katakana at all. Katakana is. I, I actually have two glossaries, um, and katakana is derived. Uh, hiragana is actually derived of katakana, so. It's going to be difficult to make the switch specifically, but there's also a, an entire additional table dedicated inside the handbook. Here we got cut the comma. You can't read that. You can't even like. It's probably backwards too. But then we also have Hidagana, which has the lack of an extra table, but it's fine. Uh, for the rest of the day, yesterday, uh, not yesterday, Friday, no, no, it's technically yesterday, because I'm living in Saturday right now. For the rest of the day on Friday, uh, I came back and I did homework. 
and I'm trying to think about anything else I did on specifically on Friday. Can't remember what else I did on Friday. Um, I made dinner for myself. I took out the rest of my, not the rest of mine, but I had some of the chicken that I took out and I made spaghetti. And I got to, that was actually really, really tasty. Like I'm surprised how well that turned out, even though I just basically warmed up old, old noodles, no, uh, pre-cooked noodles and uh, spaghetti sauce. But it turned out really well and it was very tasty. Um, I don't think there's anything else specifically that I did last night. Nope. Friday was kind of it for Friday was that was my big thing for Friday was. Yeah, that was my big thing for Friday was my test and then my second ever dinner for myself. But uh, that's, a, that's a pretty good milestone, right? That works as a milestone. So we'll keep we'll count that as a. Um, my secondary thing today, however, okay, I will mention on Friday night, I was up to like 2 a.m. just not doing anything. I wasn't doing like anything at all. And I still managed to stay up till 2 a.m. I just couldn't fall asleep. <laughs> and I slept in to like 2 o'clock in the morning, in the afternoon today. <laughs> I woke up and my phone said 1400 hours. Oops. <laughs> it took me a good solid hour to actually get up and out of bed. But uh, eventually I made the decision to, you know, stand up and make something of myself without wasting the rest of the day. And I actually turned out to be very, very productive. I walked out and I knocked on the, um, my Swiss friend's door and I was like, hey, I, I got to get out. Uh, are you doing anything? Are you walking down? He was like, yeah, I'm actually about to go grocery shopping and walk down to the 100, 100 yen store and go grocery shopping. I was like, that's fantastic. Please, can I tag along? He's like, yeah, sure. Sounds great. Turns out we actually were going to ta tag along with two other people that were going to another 100 yen store. Different one. There's a lot of them. There's like six different brands for dollar stores here which is effectively less than dollar store because 100 yen is a little bit less than a dollar. But it's fine. Um, it's, it's fine. Speaking of which, actually, on Friday, we did the gestures. Apparently, this means, like, disagreeing. Like, so you're like, nah, not like, like yeah, yeah. Like, like it's like a stinky decision. So it's like, no, 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 I don't want to do that. Uh, you can also, like, cut through people like if you say like same as and like like excuse me you go like this and like you bow your head and like you can kind of navigate your way through large crowds that's a, allegedly the way to do it the, <laughs> there was a little there was like a little cartoon that we watched to do it and it looked like a guy like it looked like the hunchback of notre dame karate chopping heads it was it was a funny visual for a very simple explanation but whatever uh, that's my little caveat about gestures. There was another one that I don't remember. Pointing anywhere on the face is um, like watashi kore wa. It's like a very self-centered. So when you point at yourself, you don't have to say like I am doing this. It's like this. Um, <laughs> doing this is um referring to actually a tank a mountain tengu which i discussed previously like the the mountain demons that kidnap kids and then punish old monks but like, apparently if you do like if you go like this it's a, a negative connotation for like a very proud and kind of stick in the mud or stick of the butt whichever you really want um I'm all over the place. I apologize. I I, <clears throat> I met up with with my Swiss friend and then two other pe two other people, two total of three people that went with us to actually Americans. I went with this one of them from Iowa. It was actually pretty cool. I don't remember where the other one's from, but I knew it was US. And the one I don't remember where he's from, and I'm still not introducing names. We're gonna call him. I almost said his name, even though I just said I'm not going to say his name. I'm like, let's call him by his name. No, let's call him. Look, 
for anything in my room who begins with the letter M. Let's call him Milk. Let's call him Milk. Milk took us to a sidebar, like, little road that took us off the main road from from campus. We turned right off of off of campus. And then there's a small intersection that crosses over to another bridge towards kind of more downtown area. He took us down a hill of a sketchy little stone path that was barely the, like a foot wide that led us into the suburbs of Hirakata. And it, the sudden was so fast. It was shocking. Like we were on the road for one second, walked down one little hill and we can't even hear the cars. It was just immediate. And it was, it was actually really cool how fast like it was. It felt in comparison because we weren't walking in the sun. We were walking next to cars. It was just a immediate shift, and it was a cool little detour. Not detour, almost a shortcut. It takes like sixty seconds. So thanks, I guess. But it was actually really cool still. So appreciate it. Um, after we we come out at another intersection, closer uh, to the bus station, and to the left is where we wanted to go, and then to the right is actually closer toward where the actually the bus station is headed. But the 100 yen store was stacked on top of a grocery store and um, next to an electronics store. I wanted to buy something from electronics. I wanted to buy a mouse or a pocket Wi-Fi. And I completely spaced on both of them. So that was my bet. Um, but in terms of the 100 yen store, I actually bought some positive things that I should have bought a long, long time ago. Some of which including uh, shower shoes, which I have gone without for the past month. So, kind of gross, but now I can avoid foot fungus. I bought one, two, three, four. Four pieces of Tupperware. Two small ones and two medium-sized ones. <clears throat> so, uh, I don't have to stick pre-cooked food inside, plastic, inside the paper towels anymore. Speaking of which, I should wash those so my chicken in my fridge is no longer sitting in paper towels so I can actually put it away in the Tupperware and stuff. Uh, my step-by-step -step process is not very good. You can clearly see I'm not, not very smart. That's what I'm trying to say. No. I also bought this because it turns out I had uh, too many buckets of stuff in my fridge. I already drank everything. Like I had buck, I had like a whole liter of milk tea. I had water. I had a liter of apple juice. I had milk. All of it's gone. That was like three days ago. It's all gone. Uh, but about this to fill up water, so I'm not. I don't have like a bunch of these hanging out in my fridge or in on like on my desk. So this is gonna be like for water, and then I'll keep other stuff in there. I should have bought a cup. Mm. I've never shot for myself, can you tell? Um, but I'll be able to keep stuff actually in the, the plastic container instead of just leaving it in like these cartons. It's garbage you need to take out. Don't worry, don't worry about it. Um, but it'll be a way to actually store things properly and probably more conveniently. So I don't have to keep buying, you know, gallons of water. I can just fill them up. So those are my purchases. I also want a plate. Nice little plate. Uh, but afterwards, we kind of wandered around the grocery center for um, for our Swiss friend, so he could, you know, collect his groceries. I'm fine for right now on groceries, but you know, he makes more. He cooks more food than I do. Um, after that, we actually stopped by a, a ramen shop, and we actually got some authentic uh, bowls of ramen at like a little um, mall area, uh, food mart, food court, food court. It was actually really, really good. It was super, super good. It, I had classic noodles with um, egg and uh, like a soft boiled egg. Some pork and I believe bamboo shoots, but I could be wrong. I'll be like a weird funky onion. 
I don't know. They were crisp. They were crunchy like an onion, but I imagine they're probably closer to bamboo shoots. So, um, and then I also tried a new drink, which while I was there, it was it had water on the front, but it wasn't water. It was like milky looking. It wasn't. It wasn't clear. It was. What it, what it turned out to be was more citrusy, actually. It tasted like a sports drink. So it was pretty tasty. It was like a Japanese orangey sports water, flavored water. Um, but it was funny because the, the kanji and like the actual characters above water looked just from a Western perspective, like it spelled out the word milk. So it looked like it said milk water, which was actually closer to what the actual liquid looked like, but it didn't taste too bad. Paired with the ramen, a little bit much, a little bit too much flavor, but a lot, a lot of going on there, but it was fine. But while we were in there, I fell victim to um, my new obsession, which is the stupid gotcha things. If I can open it. Uh, and I got a little pin. Uh, so next to my demon of Akaza, I now have Ryomen Sukuna. From Jujutsu Kaisen, and he's awesome. He's a tool, uh, and his chest is bleeding because of his, you know, toolness and what he does to the main character. But I think he's fun. I think he's neat. Uh, and then after that, after that, we just kind of came back here with our separate ways. Uh, I made another thing of food not too long ago because I only ate it for the first time at like 3 in the afternoon. So I made myself some more food, more ramen. And I had another egg in it and I put more uh, green shoots in it. I had I put uh, green onion in it. But, yeah. I don't think I went through anything else too exciting today. Uh, tomorrow is going to look a lot like housekeeping. I have garbage to take out. I won't do, I'll probably do that now. Like, when I go brush my teeth. Um, it's only... Where is it? 1.43. It's 1.43 a.m. I manage my time very well. I'm going to wake up at noon tomorrow and then fall asleep until 4. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to uh, do my laundry tomorrow. I have two pages for of homework for uh, Hidigana tomorrow, for, for due Monday, uh, and then I only have my one class on Monday, so it makes it nice and easy. Do some more reading tomorrow on uh, Monday. Uh, I'll definitely do a lot more studying, you know, you know, just stuff to make up for my lack of day today. So I'll try and catch up where I left off from, you know, being a functional student and, and or adult, but it'll be fine. I bought shower shoes. It's fine, which are extremely loud. I was trying to walk in the hallway uh, to take a shower and it sounded like I was SpongeBob. I've never seen Sponge, never watched SpongeBob, but I've seen enough clips to know what he sounds like when he walks. It's obnoxious. Like, it echoes. It echoes. So my neighbors probably hate me. Everyone in the hall probably hates me. But it's cool. Um, yeah. I don't think there's anything else of note today that I've really done. Laundry tomorrow. School stuff tomorrow. Yeah. Maybe I'll cook, cook, cook actually some dinner tomorrow instead of doing whatever I want. I was actually thinking, I have lettuce. Do I have lettuce? I do. I have a whole head of lettuce. I have cucumbers. I have, um, I have cucumbers. I have tomatoes. I have carrots. I have all the makings for like a really, really good salad. I could put chicken. I could have a chicken salad tomorrow. I could be so healthy, so productive. I'm going to do that. That's what I'm going to do tomorrow. And I use my brand new Tupperware too. It'll be perfect. I need to I need drinks. Rats! It's always a hole in my plans. 
Whatever, I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. But I think that's going to be it for me today. I don't think I have anything else to share specifically. How long have I been recording? On my desk. 20 minutes. That's a nice average. Cool. All right, so, yeah. Um, this is going to be it for me today. Thanks for watching. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for listening to me talk over and over and over again. I keep obsessing and looking at the statistics for my videos like I'm a professional YouTuber. Never going to happen. Unless I'm sponsored by Pringles anytime soon. But that running joke is going to, it'll, you know, cough up eventually. But anyway, uh, thanks for, thanks for hanging out with me. And I'll see you Monday. Adiós.